Georgia local weather authority forecast. Sky starting off a little bit clearer this morning. A lot of look at the tall city on your Tuesday morning. These city lights highlighting some low level clouds this morning, but not raining. Unlike yesterday morning, and we are likelier to see warmer and drier weather this afternoon compared to yesterday afternoon, as we did see quite a bit of stormy weather yesterday, especially in the Trans Pecos, where places like Fork Stockton saw severe thunderstorms pop up yesterday evening. Those storms have since moved off to the east with another band of rain showers moving east of our viewing area this morning. Now, speaking of the severe weather that we did see near downtown Fork Stockton yesterday evening, flash flooding, strong wind gusts, hail reports, hail in diameter of close to two inches. So that is enough to cause damage to those roofs and cars and injure people. You guys, if you guys happen to be out during the storms, that's why we, again, Make sure that you guys are weather aware and, and are indoors because of, again, of the chance of severe weather that we did see yesterday and that we may be seeing later today. There were some high water rescues as well. So that's something that we could be seeing later today. So make sure you guys, again, are weather aware and stay up to date with us. We are your local weather authority. Now we do notice that we had rounds of storms that have since moved well off to our north and east. The latest one, the latest round, again, just east of our viewing area, that's number one. Number two, near the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And number three, now up towards Oklahoma City and north and east of the city itself. And we're seeing, again, clear and drier conditions this morning as a result of, again, the stormy weather moving east of our viewing area for now. It's a little bit cooler, a little bit drier, a little bit clearer in terms of skies this morning compared to yesterday morning, sitting close to the 57 degree mark in the tall city. I do think that'll be that low temperature this morning with those winds generally from the south southwest at 5 to 15 miles per hour. That'll be warming things up and drying things out a little bit more this afternoon with mostly sunny skies. Likely no weather disruptions this afternoon in the Midland and Odessa area itself. Very close to the 80 degree mark with mostly sunny skies, but still a little bit on the muggy side and breezy side of things, especially later this afternoon. So temperatures warming up from the mid to upper 50s and lower 60s into the mid to upper 70s and lower 80s. But cooler colors on this temperature map in the Trans Pegas indicate more clouds, more moisture, and higher chances of rainfall elsewhere in the low to mid 80s in places like Pecos and also upper 70s and lower 80s in the Midland and Odessa area. That's because they're likelier not to see rainfall as opposed to places like Fork Stockton, which may cool off considerably later this evening in the low to mid 60s. Even in places like Alpine may cool off later this evening because of storms potentially hitting those areas. But any storms will start to dissipate later this evening evening into the overnight with mostly clear skies, low temperatures in the 60s with those winds still from the south southwest right around 5 to 15 miles per hour. Again, generally a rain free morning based in wild, but a few thunderstorms may pop up. Near Marfa and Alpine, not really showing up, but showing up near Brewster County and once again in Fort Stockton. So make sure you guys, again, are weather aware. Turn around, don't drown, and drive slowly some of those puddles if, again, we do see flash flooding. There is that chance of that later today. Most storms ending later this evening with leftover clouds and moisture in southern areas, especially overnight. Very thin clouds, as we do notice. No specks of greens, but some wispy whites on this future cast tomorrow morning across the basin. But generally warming up in the upper 70s and lower 80s tomorrow, but not quite as warm as today because of those winds switching direction from the northwest right around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Stronger wind gusts at times, and that's because of a cold front bringing in another slight chance of storms. But I do think our chances of rain will be a little bit lower compared to even of today, especially yesterday. 81 today, 79 tomorrow, 80 degrees in the tall city on Thursday. More chances of rain later this week and into the weekend.